So it appears that Collider Video is going to be closing up shop and they're uh, taking down all their shows like Jedi Council and the Daily Movie Show and stuff like that. And I'm pretty shocked. I did not see this coming. And I haven't really watched Collider in like two years. You know, sometimes their videos come on my recommendations. Sometimes I click on them. Most of the time I don't. But their videos always do pretty good. You know, they have a community over there. And they have a pretty good attach rate for the videos. And I'm a little shocked they would decide to shut this down. And I think the exact quote from the, the people that own Collider was that they were going to shut it down to focus on industry professional content. Which I don't know what the fuck that means. Uh, are they going to be like interviewing celebrities all the time? Is that going to be the whole thing Collider's going to become? Doesn't seem very interesting to me. But I've always uh, been a proponent against Collider. They always felt disingenuous because it always felt like they were trying to act like they knew something when they really didn't. You know, they were just regular people talking about movies and having commentary on movies. And I think they should just lean into that, right? Like, yes, we're not professionals and we're going to talk about the movie anyway. I like that approach way more. I like to hear a little honesty in my uh, movie commentary, right? So I would make, you know, videos making fun of them and stuff in the past. I haven't done it in a while. Because, you know, it's just not that entertaining for me anymore. But making fun of Collider was easy to do, right? And now that they don't exist anymore, like, how are channels like FilmGop going to survive, right? <laughs> and, and I know there's a lot of crossover here. I know a lot of people watching this channel are watching FilmGop as well. And I was seeing him celebrating Collider being, like, disbanded, you know? And that was, like like, a huge shocker to me. Like, why would you be celebrating people getting fired? Like, I don't understand... You know, what the thought process is, like, half your videos are making fun of Collider. Most of your content is coming from them. Sure, we might not like Collider, but, like, if they don't exist, like, where are we getting, you know, people to make fun of, you know? Are we just going to, like, rag on Jody's Corner now forever? <laughs> like, is that until he uh, closes up shop? Like, where is the end game? Because certainly I never wanted, you know, people at Collider to get fired, and not have work anymore and, you know, <laughs> just disappear. That was never the goal. Because a lot of their fans anyway are like me. You know, they used to watch, you know, AMC Movie Talk. And they follow John Campy at a collider. And then uh, some of them realize that maybe he's full of shit. So you decide to seek out other people. And that's when you come across people like Film Gob and Dave Junkie and the comic movie marks. You know, that's when you come across these other channels. When you get tired of people like Collider and now that Collider doesn't exist, it's going to be harder to get channels like mine or, you know, anybody else's, like Dave or Film Gob's channel. It's going to be hard for those channels to gain more viewers, right? Because they show up on Collider-related videos. So I think, you know, this uh, shutdown of Collider videos is going to have huge ramifications for, you know, everybody's channels around here. You know, these movie sites, these movie uh, blogs and shit, they're going to become more sedated with... The Hollywood industry professionals, you know, that are really boring people. <laughs> They're really boring to listen to. They don't ask any interesting questions. And that's all you're going to get now, really, for the most part. You're going to get very surface level, glossy, oh, let's talk to the celebrities and not ask any poignant questions and not analyze anything that we're consuming. I mean, that's the road this is all going down. There is an effort to sterilize all of this uh, entertainment that we're consuming, all these... Uh, opinion channels on YouTube that have movie commentaries. There's there's definitely an effort to sedate it. And if they could shut down, you know, those Star Wars channels that keep ragging on Rise of Skywalker, they would, you know. <laughs> they definitely want to, since, you know, YouTube channels like that have way more influence over how audiences perceive, you know, the next Star Wars film than the actual film does, you know. But yeah, again, it's just shocking that Collider video it's no longer a thing. I mean, they shut down all their, you know, daily stuff and, you know, the Jedi Council, Star Wars podcasts and stuff. Stuff that was, like, building a huge community for them and getting uh, their videos a lot of views. And now they're going to go a different direction? Yeah, I'm sure that's going to work out. Let's talk to AMC Movie Talk. Let's see how that worked out. Oh, that's right. They don't exist anymore. Which is, like, another dumb thing. You know, I always thought that was dumb, how AMC didn't, like, double down on their internet shows. Instead, they just let them fold over and totally, like, abandon it, right? And now Collider's doing the same thing. I just wonder where all this is coming from. I wonder, like, 
why they're making these decisions because it can't be a money thing. It doesn't take that much money to run these shows, you know? They rent out a little studio. I'm sure people like Christian Harloft are not getting paid that much. So I wonder, like, what is the real downside of, like, having these shows continuing to run on YouTube? I have no idea what it could possibly be, but... Yeah, it's never a good thing to watch people lose their jobs for no reason. Like, I don't understand why Collider would be shut down like this. It really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And even people like me that don't like Collider anymore, I don't watch their videos. But you gotta think, like, where are those, you know, people that are just trying to get into, you know, movie commentary and, you know, trying to just listen to people talk about films, where are those people going? You know, like, geeks and gamers? Oh, God. Like, that's that's where they're going? Shit. Like, Jody's Corner is your best option now. You know, like, it's it's pretty bad if you want to, like, look out for, like, movie commentary and stuff like that. But anyway, that's all I gotta say about that for now. Comment below, let me know what you think about it. I saw a lot of people celebrating Collider's downfall, and it was just very confusing to me. And I just had to make a video talking about um, the end of Collider videos. Because even I was a little happy to see that, you know, Collider videos isn't a thing anymore. But then I had this realization, like, wait a minute, like, what are we going to make fun of now? It's always easier to, you know, mock a bigger site like Collider that has, like, a bunch of views anyway. It doesn't really matter what you say to them because they'll always have new subscribers coming in. So it's funner to make fun of them. It's not as fun to make fun of smaller channels that have a really small fan base, you know. But the second you get over, like, you know, 200,000 subscribers, you know. That's when it starts to be like, okay, they're starting to have more of an influence over people's uh, minds here. And now they're free game to mock. At least that's how I see things. But anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you all on the next one. Bye.